Welcome back guys. Um, let's continue one more time. Um, today we are going to look at JavaScript operators. And if you look at my script.js file, uh, it's the same we've been using in previous tutorials. And I've added some comments here. So these comments are um, the operators. Uh, they talk about the operators that we are going to look at in this video. So we have the addition operator, which is uh, the plus symbol you see here, uh, subtraction which is going to be the yeah, minus symbols and then um, multiplications, divisions, exponentiation, uh, modulus, increments, and decrements. So we're going to look at these one by one. It's going to be very easy. It's just the first part of um, this topic, operators topic. We have a few more that we'll cover in uh, future tutorials. But for now, if you look at my index.html, um, I have this uh, paragraph uh, elements with the ID math results. I'm capturing it right here, accessing it here, and then I will be appending uh, the results of our calculations um, right here on, on the screen. So we have, we get colon, which is what you see here, and uh, you should be all right with that because we did something similar in the previous tutorials from this uh, JS for beginner series. Okay, so um, let's dive in quickly and um, I'm going to type, oh, and a quick thing, I uh, added a bit of CSS here, it doesn't matter much, but just to make this uh, bigger so that you can easily see what I'm doing. So we have, I'm going to create a variable here, let's addition, and I'm going to have 4 plus 10, and then I'm going to append it uh, to the paragraph here. So I'm going to say paragraph.append, and I'm going to pass in the addition variable, and now we get 14 right here because that's what we did. Uh, that's the um, operation that we performed and we assigned that value to this variable and then now we are just appending the value of that variable to our paragraph. So one thing uh, that you should know is that you don't need to store the values in variables all the time, although that is recommended uh, for your own sake, you know, uh, when you are writing uh, your scripts. But you can also do the calculations directly here. So I could have a different um, operation like uh, 10 plus 39, and I get 49 here. I did the operation directly. All right, so now let's do the same thing for subtraction. Let's 40 minus 29. Sorry about that. We should get 11. Let's say program that appends. And we get 11 here. So I just wanted to show you that all these basic um, operations in JavaScript are possible and they are allowed. So I'm going to do something similar again for multiplications. We're going to have 5 uh, times 4, we should get 20. I'm going to call this multiplication, and obviously this variable must exist. So I'm going to Initialize it here, and um, we we get an issue here, and you can see I have um, eleven and twenty, which creates the effect that the number that we got is one thousand uh, one hundred and twenty. But uh, that's not correct. That's because I I didn't comment this out. So we are um, we are having the value of that operation, and then we are appending again the um, result of that operation. So I'm going to uh, comment this out and now we get the uh, the correct results 20 so again less interesting we're going to do the same thing for divisions and I'm going to change this to um, um, 10 divided by 5 and we should get 2 but again I need to comment this out so you now get the idea how this all works. Um, basic arithmetic operations can be done in JavaScript. You can store the um, values into variables, or you can also perform the um, operations directly. But it gets more interesting when we uh, look at um, exponentiation, for instance. And I can have let um, exponent equals. Wait, before I proceed, uh, let me comment this out. So I could say 5 or 4 to the power of 3. 
now um, paragraph appends and I can append exponents and we get 64 now is that correct well let's see 4 to the power of uh, 2 um, we get 16 to the power of um, 3 16 times 4 is 64 so that's correct um, now in JavaScript actually there is another way of um, doing that operation and you can use um, math.power so uh, the first um, parameter would be the number that you want to multiply and the second number would be um, the exponent so 5 to the power of 3 you could write it like this and uh, you will get the same results that object we can probably cover that in future tutorials because there are many um, operations you can perform many mathematical um, operations so if I just um, write the dots uh, symbol here you can see all the methods we can use uh, tan, sin, sine, around and etc so um, there are quite a few of them but we'll cover that in the future so for now um, we are still covering the exponentiation um, operator all right so uh, let's check now the modulus operator which is very interesting and that one returns the um, remainder of divisions so I'm going to comment this out and then I'm going to have let's modulus equals um, let's say 20 divided by sorry divided by 3 and I have to use the percentage uh, percentage sign and now I can append to the paragraph and we get 2 because um, 20 divided by uh, 3 you would get 6 uh, with the remainder of 2 so it gives you the remainder let's check with uh, 50 divided by uh, 4 we also get 2. Well, that is because uh, 4 times 12 will equal um, 48. We're left with 2. So let's check with uh, 6 or um, 7, maybe. We should get 1 because 7 times 7 equals 49 and uh, remaining 1, uh, 250. So um, that is very important or very um, useful when you use um, if else uh, statements. We'll cover that in a future tutorial of this series. So I'm going to comment this out. Now, um, if you want to increment a uh, value by one, let's say you have a variable called uh, number and that number is five. Now you could say number equals number plus one to assign the new value to number, which is the previous value plus one. And then let's see what we get here. And we get six right that makes sense but instead of writing one two um, one two and three uh, words at the same time or uh, two words your variable names plus the number uh, all the time you could simply cut all of this and have plus plus here double plus so double plus is the same thing as saying current value plus one and you assign that value back to that variable so from five, we've increased one, and now we are updating the value of our number variable to the new value, which is six. So that's what we get. And if I, I was to write this uh, multiple times, plus plus, I would get seven now. Now, um, there is something you need to note uh, for this operator. You can also write it before, and that has to do with the way the value gets updated, but we'll cover that uh, in the future. So for now, just know that you can do it both ways but for this uh, tutorial uh, we will focus on the one um, after the variable name so the same logic applies to the de decrement operator which is um, uh, um, it, it uses um, double uh, minus sign or dash symbol so let's have um, double decrements equals no oh, sorry I'm going to reuse the um, variable number here so I'm going to comment this out I'm going to have number here and I'm going to assign 10 now I'm going to say 10 oh sorry uh, number minus minus and then I'm going to append the value to the paragraph again and we get 9 because that's the same thing as writing number minus 1 
Now I could write minus minus multiple times. You would normally use a um, a loop for that in JavaScript because that's a yeah, repetitive statement or repetitive task. But uh, just for you to know, so here it becomes nine, then it becomes eight, then it becomes seven here, and now it becomes six. So the last value is what we get when we call the um, append method here. So that's just the first part of how JavaScript operators work, uh, what they are and how you can use them. So again, to recap, we have the um, addition operator, subtraction operator. We also have the multiplication operator, division operator, exponentiation operator, modulus operator, increments operator, and then decrement operator. So in uh, the uh, next JavaScript for beginners tutorial, we will look more into how you can use um, similar operators to concatenate strings and uh, how you can uh, shorten um, how you can shorten operations. Like instead of writing, for instance, you wanted to uh, decrease the value by five instead of writing number equals uh, number minus five. There is actually a shorter way of uh, writing that, so we'll cover that in the next videos. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe, like this video, drop your comments uh, to ask any questions or whatever, and uh, make sure you turn on notifications for the next tutorials.